you doing? Hey, sir. What are you doing sitting out in the cold? Did Julia throw you out? Well, that's a um, succinct analysis, but relatively accurate. Yeah. She threw him out. Hey, Samantha's recruits have arrived. Hi, yeah, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Samantha's asleep. Asleep? <laughs> and you made me rehearse that lullaby all the way over here? Don't worry about it, pal. The training's gonna come in handy in the future. Don't get into any trouble. And what are you doing here? I've been weighing that very question. Well, you're gonna have to weigh it all by yourself because I have to go meet Rita now. Why didn't you ask me to babysit? Because you and I aren't supposed to be spending any time alone. And the last thing that I need is to come home very late at night and find you still here. Afraid you couldn't restrain yourself? As much as I hate feeding your ego, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. And then you'll have to sneak out the back way into the darkness. Victoria and her sleazebag lawyer will be sneaking around the bushes waiting to snap a picture of you. I can't stand living like this. I'm gonna stop Victoria. Tonight. Yeah, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, but those look like they might be worth more like a million bucks. You know, it surprises me. I thought Mason and Julia would be too smart to be caught like that. Do you don't mind your own business? Mason used to be my business. But I'm surprised at you, Victoria. I didn't think you had it in you. But if you're going to beat the Capwells, you're gonna have to sink to their level. You're gonna have to wallow in the mud with them. I could never sink as low as Mason and Julia. Oh, sure you could. I'll give you some pointers. You guys go out that way. What are you talking about? No, come on, just go out this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head up the stairs here. I'll meet him on a wild goose chase. Don't be That's... crazy, Kate. You don't have to do that. No, no, they're not looking for me. They're looking for you. Now just take the dock and eat and get, get the hell out of here. We'll owe you, man. We'll owe you. Yeah, I know you owe me. I got witnesses. Cool. How was do? Come on, go. All right, let's go. I'll be okay. Under control. Did somebody call the police? Yes, they're on well, the way. Who, was there anybody in the elevator? Nobody seems to know. Now, just stay calm. 
All right, stay calm. There's this guy who's running around trying to blow our brains All out. I could think of was gun staring me in the face. Well, at least I had it together enough to point them in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, otherwise they could have taken us hostage. I might not have been so bad. I mean, one of them was kind of cute. Gina, come on. All right, I can't help it if I'm observant. Wait a minute. Wait, give, give me, give don't, me don't those. Don't you want my advice? No, I don't want your advice. Well, I'm the expert, Tori. I've been dealing with the Capwells for a long time. Well, I don't want to hear any of your plots, okay? I'm just trying to protect you. I mean, everybody knows that there's nothing the Capwells hold so near and dear to their heart as their money, and if you try to take it from them, they'll hit below the belt. I don't need any guidance from you. I've heard about your techniques. They're infamous. Yes, you mean those photos I took of Cece and Sophia in compromising positions? Well, <laughs> does that sound familiar to you? It wasn't my idea. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't. And I, I'm sure you feel terrible about using those pictures, but let's face it. You and I are two of a kind. We've both been rejected by Capwell men, and we are fighting to get what we deserve. There's a difference, but you wouldn't understand it. Oh, really? Fermi. You are after money. I'm after justice. I think revenge is the key word here. <laughs> and I think you found the perfect way to get it. You're wrong about me. You'll see. Look, Tori, if you don't like taking the money, you could always give it to me. I don't know. A couple guys ran in with guns. It was absolute chaos. Well, is that why you're in such bad shape? Um, Angie, I, I really needed to see you. Things have been getting worse and worse, and I think I finally figured out why. You haven't slipped back, have you, Tori? No, no, it's, it's not cocaine. It's replaced with something that I think is worse. Revenge. I need to talk to you tonight, John. Yeah, it's that important. Well, I... I'm ready to stop holding back. I want to do whatever it takes to end this quickly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. I'll see you then. Thanks. Do you have a problem, Pearl? I don't have one. You sure look like you do, though. You look like you've been put through the ringer twice. <laughs> Pearl, I am a living, breathing example that honesty isn't always the best policy. You've been honest? I realize that may come as a shock to you, Pearl, but yes, I have. Much simpler, living a lie, but in a moment of semi-open-mindedness, I thought that I would tell Victoria how I really felt. I admitted my love for Julia and told her that I thought our marriage was over. So, what do you want, a merit badge? Well, I erroneously assumed that my being honest would make a difference to Victoria. Oh. See, no dice, huh? In a word, Pearl, I'm getting creamed. Mace, uh, Victoria and Julia are friends of mine. Are you offering to mediate? Uh, no, but somehow I have a feeling when the smoke clears, uh, those two are gonna end up getting hurt. No, Pearl, only one of us is gonna get hurt. Too bad it can't be you. Yeah, she's sleeping like a log. Now you guys take care of her, huh? What was that all about? That guy has no idea how lucky he is. There goes a jerk who has two women, and I can't even find one. <coughs> Did you see anybody coming from up there? No, no one. I am dying to know what you're doing here, but we don't have time right now, okay? So just, just come with me. What happened to the elevator? I pushed the wrong button. Come on. There's someone that's after you. I love it. Intuition. You're beautiful. Please, come. Hold it. You're going nowhere. Katie's a new addition. Yeah, so look, she just made a wrong turn. She doesn't know anything about this, so why don't you just let her go? Shut up. And there's nobody in here. There's not even any blood, nothing. What do we have to do to kill this guy? All right, where's Castillo? Hey, listen, he had to be pretty busted up after that fall. He couldn't run very far. I'm gonna try this boiler room. You know, you don't have to tell me where Castillo is. I can still find him. I can track him anywhere with this. I guess that makes you a real clever guy. Oh, I think you're a pretty clever guy. In fact, I think you've probably already figured out that I've got to get rid of both of you now. No witnesses, just part of the game. Hey, you get your kicks from killing innocent women? I do my job. 
The money provides the kicks. I'll just let her go, okay? And I can't do that. But I won't make her stand around and watch. Your lawyer's in there. Planning strategy? Defense is more like it. What's going on here? Something about an elevator that wasn't working right. What is it that was so important you had to talk to me tonight? I can't go on like this, John. I'm compromising my life. For the sake of the settlement, I've been publicly denying my feelings for Julie. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, uh, Mason, it's been less than a week. Time is not the issue, John. It is, unless you want Victoria walking away with every dime you had. I want to wrap this up as quickly as possible. You know Jacobson is not going to accept that. It's not in your wife's interest. Then let's make it in her interest. How? You have tied my hands. I'm untying them, John. Let's take the gloves off. I'm tired of playing fair. It's getting us nowhere. Do you know exactly what you're saying? I'm saying use Victoria's cocaine addiction. Music to my ears. I have no choice. I have to fight back, so go ahead. Do you have the information? What information? I need physical proof of her addiction, Mason. Legal records, anything you can get your hands on. Testimony from doctors, therapists, bank transactions. If she was putting family funds up her nose. Didn't realize we had to be that specific. You said you were taking the gloves off. That means we're hitting her, Mason. And you know as well as I do, when you hit, you have to go for a knockout. I'll start getting what we need. Do you know where I can find Dr. Clark? He was supposed to meet me for dinner, but he didn't show up. Well, he left the hospital a couple hours ago. He said it was an emergency. No one's heard from him since. Well, I'm, I'm sure he'll call me. Can I talk to you for a second? Well, I'm kind of in a rush, but... I'll, I'll make it fast. I just wanted to clear the air between us. I have a feeling that you have felt kind of threatened by me a couple times, and, and you shouldn't have. Scott and I are just friends, and that's it. And even if I wanted it to be more than that, he's so hung up on you, it could never happen. He talks about you all the time. I can tell when a guy's in love, and Scott definitely has the symptoms. You really think so? No question about it. I don't know. I, I wish I was sure. I came over here hoping I could... I could see him and we could work things out, but he, he's so angry with me, I don't even know if it's possible. If you want it, I know Scott will. I know it's what he needs. Sounds like you think I'm good for him. I do. He's happy when you two are getting along, and I like to see him happy. He's a special guy. More than special to me. Is everything all right? Well, the suit just held through the elevator crash. Somebody did a great job. <laughs> I'm not going to forget this, Doc. If there's ever anything I can do for you, you just give me the word. Well, you can start by letting me know what's going on. Uh, well, anything but that. That I can't do, at least not right now, but I will when I can, I promise. Well, I just hope you two know how you're going to get out of this. We have a vague idea. Well, thanks to you, at least they can't track him down as easily. You have to spy some time. That's really important. <sighs> yeah. Well, I have to return to the calm of the emergency room. Good luck, both of you. Thanks. Thanks. We'll depend on it. I wish we knew how Kane was doing. You know, he's got that homing device. I hope those guys have left him alone. Well, I think Kane can take care of himself, darling. You know, I thought we were through with all of this. You know, people chasing us, people shooting at I us. I promise it's going to be over soon, I swear. How do you know? Well, because there's a time limit. As soon as that meeting at the hotel is done with, as soon as the fox has made her move, we'll be finished with this, for better or worse. Except for dealing with Richard. What do you think you're going to do now? Well, I know what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to stop her. Well, can't we call the police or the Secret Service or somebody? I don't think so. And Richard may be working for the other side now, but he's obviously still got a power base over here. There's no telling how high it goes. So what you're saying is you don't think there's anybody you can trust? 
I trust you. It's on our shoulders now. There's no sign of them in the wreckage. They must have gotten off before the cables were shot out. I need a description of the men with the guns. I don't know. I, I, I didn't look at their faces. All I could see were the guns. Let's take the stairway to the roof. The roof? What's up there? Well, I was assuming we were trying to get away from these guys. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. You were, there was something downstairs. You kept you cool. That, that steamer. You're good at this. Well, what, did you expect me to just stand here? I mean, unless this is some kind of a sick joke, I got the distinct impression that that guy was going to kill us. Look, it's no joke. Well, who are they? Why are they after clues? We don't have time to talk about this right now. Well, look, if we really lose these guys, I say we get out of the hotel and start sneaking around like this. We are deliberately trying to confuse them. Isn't Cruz the one they're after? And that's exactly who they think they're chasing. I'm looking uh, for Dr. Clark. How's your nose? My nose? The one Victoria smashed with the ashtray. It's still a little swollen. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's why I was looking for Dr. Clark. I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. What are you doing here? I told you, I'm meeting Rita here. Oh, how is she? Oh, well, I don't know. She's still in the nursery. Mason, you seemed so angry about Victoria before I got the impression you were going to do something about it tonight. Yeah, I am. Hi. Hi, Rita. Oh, Mr. Keppel, it's good to see you. You know, I, I feel like I never got a chance to really thank you. Well, you hardly owe me any thanks. Oh, yes, I do. You ended up having a lot to do with my getting to keep my daughter. How is she? She's great. She's doing just fine. She's going to have to stay here for another week or so, although I wish I could stay. They need my room. But the nurses have assured me that I can spend a lot of time here, as much as I want. Well, I'm glad everything turned out so well. Yeah. Listen, we better go yeah, and get okay. you settled in, and I'll see you later. You can count on it. Bye, Rita. Good night, Mr. Kaplan. Oh, Dr. Clark, I've, I've, uh, I've been looking for you. I need to talk to you. All right, what's up? Well, my wife, Victoria, told me how compassionate and helpful you were when she came to you with the cocaine abuse problem. I would greatly appreciate it if I could have access to... Um, the records of your treatment. My records are strictly confidential. As an attorney, I'm sure you're very well aware of that. Well, as a doctor, I think you're aware that I can subpoena those records if I have to. Yes, and I can fight that subpoena. I know that you and your wife are going through divorce right now, but Mr. Capwell, maybe I should tell you something. I think that you will be hard-pressed to find anybody in the medical field who will provide you with ammunition against her. I see. Well, if I can't have the records, how about something like a notarized statement? I don't think you want to hear my statement. Humor me. Okay, fine. Based on my experience and my conversations I've had with your wife, I'd say that home and family pressures contributed strongly to a substance abuse problem. You're pointing the finger at me for Victoria's cocaine use. That's my professional opinion. Would you like that statement notarized? No, that won't be necessary. Thank you for your time, Dr. Clark. Scott? Shouldn't Kane have called by now? Well, not if those guys are still on his tail. Oh, hell, I should have never listened to the man. You know, oh, he should have no. brought you back here, and I should have no. kept those guys busy. No. Hello? Y yes? What, right now? It is. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, Frank. What's up? That was Daddy's security chief. I told him to call me if he saw any suspicious vehicles outside the house. There's one at the main entrance right now. Oh, great. Those guys are everywhere. They're going to stake out every conceivable place he we might go. He said the back entrance is still clear, though. Let's go now before they figure that out. What is that? This is a little homing device we no longer have any use for. Follow me. Uh, what on earth are you doing? Oh, 
Later. Our friends have joined us. So, where is he now? He's in this room someplace. This one. Right here. What? A young man, how dare you? Something is right here. What's that? No, it, that can't be him, you idiot. Waiter. 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 I think we've been had. You got a bruise on your head. What happened? <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. So just drop it. I think Dr. Anderson should take a look at you. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Boy, is it ever true what they say, that doctors are the worst patients? Will you please just stop worrying about me, okay? Look, I'm not the only one who's been worrying about you. Gina came by here looking for you. Oh, great. Just what I need. Another calamity tonight. I felt so sorry for her, Scott. Yeah, well, inducing sympathy is one of her strong points, Kathleen. She wasn't putting on any kind of act. I mean, I could tell that she was really hurting inside. She's desperate to have you guys patch things up. We're not talking patches here, Kathleen. We're talking reconstructive surgery. Now, the only thing I can do is just forget about her. That's it. All right, it's your decision to make. But for whatever it's worth, I think Gina at least deserves an explanation. I have tried to explain it to her, Kathleen. She will just not accept it. Now, she has her own cockeyed view about what is right and wrong in this world, and through those eyes, she can't even see who she really is. Now, if she can't be honest with herself, then the best thing I can do is just forget that I ever met her. My life will run a hell of a lot smoother and be a lot less complicated without Gina, believe me. I don't need her kind of grief. You talk about honesty, Scott, and you say you don't need Gina. What kind of honesty is that? <laughs> Come on, man. Julia is not going to be thrilled that you are draining her bar. What's with you tonight, anyway? I brought you over here to cheer you up. You know, I thought we could play like a two men and a baby. Yeah, I've seen that movie. I, I could do uh, the Tom Selleck part. You could take care of the other two guys. You know, when I see that little kid in there, can't help but think about the baby that Haley and I were going to have. Pal, don't do this to yourself. I know it's easy for me to say, but you, you gotta think of all the old movie cliches, you know? You gotta move on, you gotta let go, you gotta put this all behind you. It sounds easy for me to say, but it's the only thing that makes sense in this crazy world. Drinking this kind of booze is not gonna do it for you. Do you understand? Hey, hey, look who's back already. Listen, <laughs> I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Rita Grant, this is Pip, Pearl Bradford, and Jake Morton. Hi. Hi, you're Rita? Rita, yeah. Nice to meet you. How is Samantha? Oh, Samantha was a breeze. She's sound asleep right now. I understand that, that you had a baby, too, yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. I get to bring her home from the hospital next week sometime, I hope. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, if you need a couple of expert babysitters, well, this is the ticket right here. Well, I'm sure I'm going to be needing a uh, lot of help. Um, look. Huh? Bye, Julia. I'll be in the uh, car for a while. Okay, okay. We'll, Bye, we'll do. Thank you. Is he all right? He's all right. Rita? Nice to meet you nice again. Nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Julia? Yeah, right. Oh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, later. <clears throat> all right, listen. Uh, why don't you put yourself in the closet? There should be plenty of room. Julia, I just I can't thank you enough for this, for everything you've done for me. And I want you to know that I'm not going to overstay my welcome. Before you know it, I'm going to be out of here and back on my own two feet again. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. No, it's too late for that. Getting the feeling being a single parent is going to mean a lot of pressure. Well, you can handle it. Yeah, right. Can I ask you something? Did you have, like, last-minute jitters when you walked out of the hospital with Samantha? I mean, just you and her and no nurses, nobody to help? Yeah, it was hard. But the minute I came home, everything sort of works itself out, and I'm sure that the same thing is going to happen to you, too. I don't know. I thought I was prepared, but it's all beginning to seem so overwhelming. You'll be fine. Necessity is a great motivator. <laughs> Let me take your suitcase. I'll put it in the back. Okay. Make yourself at home. Okay. Okay.
Julia, I, um, uh, I had no idea that you and Mr. Capwell, uh, it must have been really rough for you being on opposite sides like that. <sighs> I'm used to it. We're always on opposite sides. You can to return any minute now, Mr. Capwell. You're welcome to wait here if you'd like. Uh, thanks, I, I will. But you, you can go on about your duties, I'll be fine. Okay, thanks. I have a couple patients I should get to anyway. Great. supposed to learn here is to recognize the problem before it gets out of hand. Mm. And you said you were feeling yourself becoming obsessive, uh, right? Yeah. With revenge. Now, if that's true, you've got a problem. It's true. All I can think of are ways that I can destroy Milton's life. I'm so ashamed. You know, I wish you would tell me what this is all about. I can't. Uh, official business? Yeah, that's right. You want to tell me what you were doing in that stairwell? Or, or were you just lost looking for the health club again? I cannot bear the way you're staring at me. Well, you think I like asking these questions and not getting any answers? I don't have to explain anything to you. You're certainly not willing to explain what you were doing to me. I saved your life tonight, Kane, But somehow that got lost in the shuffle, didn't it? I don't even get a thank you. No, I think we've played enough games for one night. Yeah, it's Kane. Is Eden there? Uh, how about Cruz? No, 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 no messages, thanks. friends. Good to see you're all right. Yeah. Good job, buddy. That was above and beyond the call of duty. Thanks. Should I say uh, dessert? The uh, homing device and I uh, made my way over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't follow me. That's great, man. We can really use the time. In fact, we should use the time concentrating on this meeting. You know, I was thinking about that. We we got to let the Secret Service know about this. Maybe they can delay it or cancel the whole thing. Well, I was thinking that, too, but considering Richard's connections to that organization, I'm not sure who we could trust. Do you have any files on this uh, meeting? Do you have a preliminary security workup? Yeah, sure. I'd like to see it. Now, Cruz, I know the main objective here is to find the fox, but... Who, who says we even can? You know, you told me Harry was the best, and Harry is dead. I guess we'll just have to be smarter than Harry was. That's what I got. Or luckier. Well, this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. At least they were generous with their data. I'll tell you, sometimes these kind of 
Martini, is that uh, Anthony Martini? Yeah, he's who I dealt with when we first started this deal. Good. You know him? Yeah, yeah, he was uh, at the agency when I started. He, uh, he's a straight shooter. Yeah, good guy. Kind of low on the totem pole, but uh, we can trust him at least. And maybe he can help us gain access to the principal players. <sighs> I think we're going to have to catch this woman in the act if we're going to nail her. Wait a minute, the fox is a woman? Yeah, didn't I mention that? No. Well, may I don't know. I, maybe I didn't hear it. I... Well, to quote Harry, he was almost certain that he was after a female. Oh, my God. What, you got a problem with that? No, 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 no. I, I mean, just, you, you're just catching me off guard. I, I thought we were looking for a man. Yeah. I, I mean, isn't it kind of difficult for someone like that to keep their identity secret? I mean, with hits all over the world, uh, how is it they haven't been caught? Well, Somebody's got to put this stuff together. Yeah, I know. What? Well, but it's not easy to do. The good ones in this game are very good, man. Like if you were to snatch nine people off the street and line them up against a wall with a professional assassin, I'd lay odds that you'd finger seven or eight of those people off the street before you had a chance of guessing right. But, but someone like that just showing up in town, you... Well, they don't just show up, you know. I mean, these people have whole lives that have been fabricated for them. They got careers, you know, it's sophisticated cover. You got some teacher transferring from another university or a doctor in town for a conference, somebody working for the government, it's the whole gamut, man. A lot of times it involves travel so that nobody gets suspicious once they've done what they came to do and they disappear. And I'll tell you, if this fox is anywhere near as good as her reputation, she has a great cover. A penny for your thoughts. What? You with me on this? Yeah, sh I'm, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. What is my, you got, you got some idea here? I don't get what, what's going on. No, hey, you're the ex-spy, you tell me. Well, I, I that's... <laughs> I didn't see anything there about your plans for positioning, what's your people you're certain you can trust, where oh. you're gonna put them? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put something together about that. Uh, I gotta go right now. What, right this second? Yeah. Yeah. Kane. <clears throat> uh, what? Let's be in contact on this. Yeah. Of course, no, you can count on me, really. the way that you taught us, and all I see is this selfish, compulsive woman, and I keep on trying to think of ways I can ruin Mason's life. Well, because deep down, you feel that Mason ruined your life. Maybe you'd like to be able to blame him for some of your own problems. Well, it's true. You know, he did hurt me. He hurt me, and, and Julia hurt me. I didn't imagine that. So why, why can't I chalk it up to experience and walk away? Why do I feel that I want to harm them? I think you're being too hard on yourself, Tori. I mean, you've managed to regain control of your own life. You shouldn't be ashamed of that. I don't know, maybe a person shouldn't be allowed to trample all over someone else's feelings without being paid back for it. I think you've gotten to the point where you can trust your own judgment. And I think probably you'll end up doing the right thing. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. I'm always here to listen. Don't forget that. I won't. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk into your car. Thanks. Thank you for saving my life. Don't mention it. I'm sorry about the third degree earlier. You're right. Um, you don't owe me any explanation. I was on my way to the basement to meet with Thompson. Who's that? 
man suspected of sabotaging you, Ulrich. I was finally able to breathe down his neck enough so that he called and requested a meeting. I agreed to meet him in the basement. I didn't expect to find you there after the crash landing with the elevator. I guess all the commotion scared Thompson away. Yeah. Ah, yeah, well, that's my story. Look, I know yours is top secret, so I won't pry. I can't believe you managed to get everything together so quickly. How are you planning to do this, John? As I said before, it won't be delicate. We're long past that. I'll go to Victoria with the evidence of her drug addiction. I'll explain to her that either she accepts a smaller but fair settlement, or we see to it that every tabloid in the country gets that information complete with pictures. Aren't you going to leave that file with me? John, I was married to her. I made a lot of mistakes. For some reason, I thought I could go through with this, but I guess I can't. I'm just not ready to destroy a life. I'm sorry to hear that, Mason. Because she's going to crucify you. I'll be up there in a little while. OK. Now you can at least have the decency to return my phone calls. Oh, Gina, what's the point? I just can't accept that it's over, Scott. Well, you don't have any choice. But wait. Stop walking away from me. I'm sick and tired of it, and it's cruel. There is nothing left to say, Gina. You blackmailed Sophia Kappel, and you lied to me about everything else. You've succeeded in making me feel like a total fool. Now, why can't you just accept the fact that that is enough to kill any relationship? Because this wasn't any relationship. Not a man told me he loved me tonight. Well, I'll just take a shot in the dark and say that it was Keith. Yes, it was Keith. But I told him that I couldn't love him. No matter what, because I was too much in love with you. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. The reason I lied to you about Sophia was because I knew you wouldn't approve. But you don't know what it's like. You never had a child taken away from you. It's much worse than anything I've put you through. Yes, you may have a bruised ego. I was getting my heart broken. You may call it blackmail, but I'd do it again if it meant getting Brandon back. You know how much I love him. Why can't you understand that? I do understand, Gina. I understand that you will find justification for the lies and the duplicity, and you always will. I can't live my life with someone like you. I've realized that the money isn't all that important. I have no intention of going through a long, drawn-out legal battle. You were right. Let's just give Victoria what she wants, and then you and I can start over. I'm not going to let the money come between us any longer. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Well, I don't think we should give in to her after everything she's done. She's, she's sneaking around in the bushes, taking pictures. She's accosting us in public places. She's, she's making false accusations. I say we let her have it. I know, but it's starting to make me feel dirty, and I hate it. Mason, we have a family. And I think what you said about the money was important. That Samantha should, should have, have that in case something happens to one of us. I know that. But I'm not sure anymore. Do you realize what we'd have to do in order to win this? I'm sorry. I voice What are you talking about, Mason? That's okay. 
Never mind. We'll talk about it later. Mason, where are you going? Mason. What are you kidding? Well, we know Kane. He wouldn't hide anything from us. Well, he was certainly preoccupied with something. He seemed a little distressed to me. Yeah, but he's our friend. I mean, he would never lie to us. Well, I'm not saying he'd lie, but... Uh, he, he might hold something back. Oh. I mean, didn't you think it was a little strange the way he walked out of here just what? now? No. I mean, what could he be hiding anyway? Well, I don't know. You don't suppose he has some clue who the fox is? Join the excitement on Alf as he becomes a hostage during a neighborhood robbery. Then it's a riveting thriller, Moving Target. Jason Bateman's star of Valerie's family is caught in a maze of terror and deception. His family's missing, and someone's out to kill him. A tense world premiere movie tonight. <laughs>